Shalom Israel, Mosai Christ bless. This is 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Amaziah. With me, I have Officer Zedaniah. Today, 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 today's lesson, brothers and sisters, we're going to touch on Matthew's chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not. You know, a Christian loves that right there. Don't judge me for nothing. I do whatever the hell I want. I could celebrate Christmas and eat pork and crab, shrimp, lobster. I could do whatever I want. God said, judge not. But we're going to dive into the scriptures and find out what was Christ, what did Christ really mean when he said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, judge not. Let's go to it. Matthew 7 and 1. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. So Christ said, judge not that you don't be judged. Let's see what it means. Keep going. For with what judgment ye judge. No, no, I'm sorry. That's it. So Christ said, judge not, that ye be not judged. Let's get the definition of the word judge. Let's get it. From dictionary.com right here. I want you to read that. Definition of judge. A public officer. A public officer. Authorized to hear and decide cases. He's a, authorized to hear and what? And decide cases. And decide cases. In a court of law. In a court of law. This is the definition of a judge. A judge. This is the noun definition of a judge. Go ahead. Magistrate charged with the administrator of he, justice. He is a magistrate charged with the administration of justice. So he's going he's gonna to meet out the judgment. Okay, that's what a judge does. Jump to, uh, read the next definition, the verb now. Now we're going to get the verb. Go ahead. Verb, to, to form an opinion or estimate. The, the word judge means to form an opinion or an estimate. Anything else? Yes, sir. To hear evidence. To hear evidence. To judge. To hear evidence. Or legal arguments or in a legal case. Or legal arguments in a case. That's the definition of judge via the verb. Now, let's go back. Let's go to Leviticus 19 and 15. So now we're going to find out what kind of judging do we do in this particular time, present time right here. Leviticus 19 and 15. Let's go. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 15. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. What did the Bible say? Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. So the Bible says, don't do no unrighteousness when you're judging matters. When you're judging, don't do no unrighteousness. Keep going. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor. The Bible says, don't respect the person of the poor. Nor honor the person of the mighty. So you can't honor a brother or dishonor a brother based on their status of money. Go ahead. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. What did the Bible say? In righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. So the Bible says, in God's laws, that's the righteousness, you shall judge, you shall what? You shall judge you thy shall, neighbor. You slow down. I'm sorry. Ye shall judge. So one scripture says, judge not. The next scripture says, Ye shall judge, but do it in righteousness. Okay, now let's go to Deuteronomy 16 and 18. Let's see what God set up. Let's find out. Can we judge? Are we allowed to judge? When I go outside and I see a drug dealers and, and maybe I see a sister getting raped, am I, not, am I supposed to turn a blind eye and say nothing? I can't judge them and tell them, hey, you wicked as hell for doing that? You can't do that no more, huh? That's why the black community is hell on earth. Because we don't judge each other. Let's go. Deuteronomy 16 and 18. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 18. Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates. Wait a minute. The Lord commanded Moses to set up judges and officers. Judges and officers. Read it again. Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates. So the Bible says make judges and officers. Hmm. What does a judge do again? A judge judges things keep going which the lord thy god giveth thee god gave you these judges and officers go ahead throughout thy tribes Read. and they shall judge the people they shall what they shall judge the people i thought i thought but christ changed and it said don't judge and they shall judge the people so the bible says god god commanded that you shall judge thy people in what with just judgment god said do it justly as long as you're going by god's laws you can judge your people. That's right. Let's go to Sirach 45 and 26. Let's get a little more. Let's go to Sirach. 
So we went to the old te- the, the Old Testament now. Now we're going a little further into the Apocrypha. Sirach so, 45 and 26. Yes, sir. Sirach chapter 45 and verse 26. God give you wisdom in your heart. To do what? To judge. To do what? To judge. To do what? To judge. Read. His people in righteousness. We just read the same thing in two other verses in Deuteronomy 16 and 18 and Leviticus 19 and 15. Read it again, officer. Ecclesiasticus chapter 45 and verse 26. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people in righteousness. Remember now. When you think of King Solomon, remember King Solomon prayed for wisdom to do what? For this verse right here, to judge Israel, such a mighty and, and a many people. He asked for, he prayed to the Lord for wisdom to do what? To judge, to judge, to judge in righteousness. Go ahead. That their good things be not abolished and that their glory may endure forever. And that their glory may endure forever. Let now go back to Matthew 7 and 1. Go back. Now let's go back to Christ. This is Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. So he said, judge not that ye be not judged. Keep reading. Now we're going to find out what is that judging that Christ is talking about. The next verse is going to explain it. Read. Verse 2. For with what judgment you judge. Uh oh. It said, with what judgment ye judge. We don't, we can, in this captivity here, we cannot pass judgment on a brother or a sister, meaning we cannot condemn a brother or a sister. All we could do is point out the error of your ways and Lord's will, you repent and correct it. So verse one is, verse two is showing you what verse one is talking about, passing a judgment, passing a sentence on a brother or a sister. Read verse two again. For what, with, with what judgment ye judge. For what judgment ye judge. Ye shall be judged. You're going to be you're going to be judged by that same thing. Go ahead. And with what measure ye meet, uh -huh. it shall be measured to you it shall, again. It shall be measured to you again. Jump to John 7, 24. So verse 1 is talking about you condemning a brother. You, you passing a judgment or passing a sentence on somebody now. So you got to have power for that. Right now in this captivity, we ain't got that kind of power. We're not the judges right now. All we are, we pass out, we pass out what God's law says, and the judge in heaven is gonna judge you for that if you don't repent. Let's go. John chapter 7, verse 24. Now, we read Christ say, judge not. Now let's keep with Christ's words in John 7, 24. John chapter 7, verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance. What did, what did, Christ, what did Christ say? Judge not according to the appearance. So it's just the same thing as passing a sentence no it is not now Christ is talking about something different don't judge according to the appearance for instance I'll give an example for instance in Israel now you have very light-skinned brothers and sisters dumb Israelites would be like that's not Israel right yeah. there no 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 he's a Saudi Arabian yeah. he's a this he's a white man he's this and that you cannot pass that judgment on them the Bible says what? Read it again. What did Christ say again? Judge not according to the appearance. Christ said, don't judge according to the appearance. Go ahead. But judge righteous judgment. He's saying the same thing as Leviticus 19 and 15. So now, give me 1 Corinthians 2, 15. Let's get a little more. So Christ said, out his own mouth, judge righteous judgment. Hmm. He didn't say judge not. Don't judge. Just turn a blind eye. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Christ didn't say that. He said, judge righteous judgment. Let's go. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 15. Read. But he that is spiritual. He that is spiritual. What, what does it mean? How does a man become spiritual, brothers and sisters? Keeping God's laws. That's what makes a man spiritual. The, the Romans 7, 14 is the precept. Tells you the law is spiritual. Let's go. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Does what? Judgeth all things. No, no, no. Christ said judge not. Judgeth all things. See what the Bible says? This is, now this, this is after Christ. Who taught Paul? This is Paul speaking here. Who taught Paul? Christ in the spirit taught Paul. Christ is speaking through Paul right here. Let's go. Read it again, matter of fact. First Corinthians chapter two and verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. So guess what? We can judge according to Christ, That's right. according to Paul, according to the New Testament, the Old Testament, and the Apocrypha. Yes, sir. Let's go. 
yet he himself is judged of no man. The Bible says he ain't judged of no man, meaning no one can condemn him now. If he's spiritual, keeping God's law. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 6 and 1. Let's take this, walk this dog a little further. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1. Dare any of you having a matter against another, uh -huh. go to law before the unjust. Go to law before the unjust. And not before the saints. A lot of you would think that unjust is talking about going before Esau. No, it's all about going against evil, wicked Israelites. Let's prove it. Acts 26 and 1. Let's prove it. Acts 26 verse 1. Because where did Paul have to go? Well, let's see who Paul had to go and stand and get judged by. Let's go. Acts chapter 26 and verse 1. Then Agrippa said unto Paul. Agrippa is a heathen. Agrippa is an Amalek, Amalekite. Okay, he's a fake Jew. Go ahead. Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Uh huh. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered for himself. Go ahead. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews. Accused of who? Accused of the Jews. There, there goes the unjust. We just read who the unjust is. The accused of the Jews making slanders, making allegations. That's some of y'all out there right now. Jump a chapter before in chapter 25, verse 10. Let's go. Acts chapter 25 and verse 10. Then said Paul, I stand at Caesar's judgment seat. What, what do I do? I stand at Caesar's judgment seat. Paul said, I stand at the white man's judgment <laughs> seat. He's, he's, more, he's more righteous than pure than some of y'all, man. Go ahead. Where I ought to be judged. Where what? Where I ought to be judged. Go ahead. To the Jews have I done no wrong. There goes the unjust again. As thou very well knowest. As you very well know. Now go back. 1 Corinthians 6 and 1 one more time. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 1. There any of you having a matter against another. Uh -huh. Go to law before the unjust. Before the unjust. And not before the saints. And not before the saints are Israel. Keeping God's laws. That's the un that's the repentant. Go ahead. Do ye not know? Don't you know that the saints shall judge the world? That the saints shall what? Judge the world. The saints, brothers and sisters, are gonna judge this entire planet Earth. That's right. Let's go. And if the world shall be judged by you, the Bible says, if the world shall be judged by you, brothers and sisters, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Are you unworthy to judge small matters? We on the street telling the sister, sister, you got to wear a dress. You can't wear them tight pants no more. Brother, you got to go to your bed. You can't have a smooth baby face no more. Oh, you say, oh, you're judging. You're so judgmental. Mm -hmm. Listen, we're bringing out God's word to you to save your soul. That's right. That's not judge. That's not passing a judgment on you. That's Lord's will hoping you repent. Let's go to Isaiah 54, 17. So let's find out about a judgment. Let's, let's find out. Since we want to talk about judging, right? 54, 17, let's go. All right. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now, this is a future prophecy here. You know you heard this in the Christian church <laughs> growing up all your life. That's why my reader's smiling right now. You understand? It says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Go ahead. And every tongue that shall rise against the end. The Bible says every tongue that rises against you in judgment, in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Shall what? Thou shalt condemn. There goes your condemnation right there. There goes passing a judgment now. Now you're passing a sentence. You're carrying out a judgment. You are condemning them. This is, go this is prophecy about the other nations. Now let's keep reading about us judging them. Judging the other nations. Go ahead. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Woo! You hear what the Bible says? This is gonna, this is your heritage, is to judge slash condemn the other nation. That's right. Now let's go to Judges 2 and 18. You guys do know there's a whole book in the Bible called Judges, right? There is a whole book. It's called Judges. Who set up the judges? God set up the judges. Let's go. Judges 2 and verse 18. Judges chapter 2 and verse 18. And when the Lord raised them up judges. What did the, wait, wait, who did it? And when the Lord. No, no, Moses. When the Lord. No, 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 Joshua. When the Lord. Read. Raised them up judges. God raised up judges. Then the Lord was with the judge. You hear what the Bible says? The Lord was with that man that he raised up, that judge that he raised up. Go ahead. And delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. See that? 
delivered the, them out of the hand of the enemy all the days of that judge. Go ahead. For it is repented the Lord because of their groanings by reasons of them that oppressed them and vexed them. The other nation. Now go back now. Now we should have more of an understanding of what judging is as, uh, as in contrast to what passing a judgment is. Now go back. Matthew 7 and 1 again. We're going to read 7, uh, chapter 7, verse 1 through 5. Yes, sir. Now we should have a better understanding about this judging thing. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. Don't judge that ye be not judged. In other words, don't be a hypocrite in your judgment and you're passing a sentence against a brother. Go ahead. For what with what judgment ye judge. For what judgment or sentence you pass out. Ye shall be judged. That's going to fall back on your head. Go ahead. And with what measure ye meet. And with what measure ye meet. It shall be measured to you again. Read on. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? So, the Bible, so Christ now says, why are you beholding the mote that is in thy brother's eye? A mote is a small particle of dust. You got a small particle of dust in your, in your you see a small particle of dust in your brother's eye. And you beholding that thing, trying to help him out. Go ahead. But consider it's not the beam that is in thine own so eye. A beam, a beam is, a, is a long piece of wood or metal shaving. So you got a metal shaving in your eye. Your brother got the little sp sparkle of dust in his eye. But you worry more about your brother than your damn self. Okay? That's what, the, that's what Christ is talking about. You're a hypocrite. Read that verse again, verse 3. Yes, sir. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? Why are you paying attention to his sin? But considerest not the beam that is in thine own but eye. But you're not worried about, but you're in sin too. Go ahead. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eyes. So how are you going to say to your brother, let me help you out, bro. I'm going, to, I'm going to help you in your sin. Go ahead. And behold, a beam is in thine own and eye. You're, you're the one in sin. You're in sin too. Go ahead. Thou hypocrite. What did Christ say? Thou hypocrite. What did Christ say? Thou hypocrite. The Bible says that is a hypocrite right there. Now you're being a hypocrite. You're trying to help somebody else out when you're the one in sin also. Go ahead. First, Cast out the beam out of thine own eye. First, fix your own issue, brothers and sisters. And then shalt thou see clearly. Then, you're, you, now you're, you're in a good position to do what? To cast out the moat out thy brother's eye. Now you're in a position to help your brother once you get yourself right. So, so wait a minute. So Christ didn't say, Christ didn't say, no, don't just leave him alone in, in his sin. No, sir. Christ didn't say that. No, sir. So you did pass, you saw your brother was, was, was uh, um, battling with something. Christ didn't say, just leave him the way he is. No, he said, help your brother. But first, fix yourself, okay? So brothers and sisters, I pray you got some understanding of Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, where Christ said, judge not. That's talking about judgment, condemnation, passing a sentence on a brother, okay? And with that, Israel, I'm Captain Amaziah. Also Zedaniah. And we say shalom. shalom. 15 minutes with the captains. Shalom. Shalom. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.